Hi guys, VST here, Valence Peace Tech. Welcome to my channel, guys. This is the Samsung S22 Ultra in my hands, right? And I'm gonna show you guys some things in this video, but I wanna make first a disclaimer. This is first a test unit in a store, which means that it's gonna run in a demo mode, all right? I have to say this before we watch the full video, right? And also, this phone is connected non-stop to a charger. As you understand, if you just take it off the charger, I'm gonna ring the alarm, which is not a very good idea, all right? Please have in mind these things because I believe they're important with the context you are gonna see. Now, let's just take a look first. What we have here is the S22 Ultra, you can just see it from the model, right? And I just want to make sure to check the build number. So the build number is ASPA1. The Android security patch level is from the 1st of January. Okay, so no more updates. This is really the latest one. Now, guys, I want to show you some of the new things in One UI 4.1. This extra brightness is one of those new things. And see here, when you enable the adaptive brightness, the extra brightness goes off, right? I also wanted to make sure that I'm using the max settings on a display. So I had to check, of course, if I'm using 120 hertz, and I also had to check that I'm using the latest or the highest WQHD resolution. Also, guys, for my test, I wanted to disable these buttons, and I wanted to go really and use the full screen navigation gestures, which is really the way it should be, I think. Okay, now this has been done, guys, and I can further dive in into the latest things from One UI 4.1. One thing we know for sure, Samsung included this auto FPS, which will allow you to record brighter videos in low light conditions, and it will automatically optimize the frame rate. Another important thing, guys, for the context on this video, I wanted to check the version that I have, and sadly, this is the version that only runs with 80 gigabytes of RAMs, all right? So 128 gigabytes of storage and 80 gigabytes of RAM, and it does also use this RAM Plus. This RAM Plus, by the way, that you just see on the screen is also a very new thing, only exclusive to One UI 4.1 at the moment. I checked on my current Samsung S21 Ultra and I was not able to select more. Here, of course, you can go from two to six, which is also a novelty. All right, guys, now I have the set scene, right? And I kind of hopefully manage your expectation. Let's just see how this phone behaves. So what you're gonna see now, you're gonna see a following test, guys. I'm gonna try to see how stable the user interface is again. Now you need to memorize, this is a test unit, which means it's a real phone, but it does run into the demo mode, and it's also connected to the charger, which probably right, will somehow impact the performance. But I'll leave this up to you guys, and I'll leave all the final judgments for you, and hopefully you're going to give your feedback into the comments. All right, now let's open the camera and try to see how quick changing the modes will perform. Because we know UI, and camera and luck is kind of really playing Samsung phones, okay? So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna try to take continuous pictures, right? To see how quick we are able to see the pictures and you can just see down below the results into the viewfinder, all right? So yeah, it is not so fast. I am testing here also the ZSL or the zero shot luck and I'll leave again all the judgment to you. Of course, what you see on the screen is really what I experienced into the store. So this is no manipulation, it is all real. Now guys, yeah, see this thing? Samsung being plagued by luck into the UI interface, One UI 4 as well. And I'm just trying to open as many apps as I can and just try to see how changing of applications going to the recent task will behave. Right now I'm entering the contacts. I'm still trying to open the camera, go back and just try to experience like a normal user will do with the phone. Now, of course, this is a bit more exaggerated because I'm just trying to put a bit more strain on the phone, but I think, yeah, this is why the phone is there. So what I'm doing right now at the moment, I am just trying to open as many apps as I can and just try to see how stable the One UI 4.1 will perform on this Exynos 2200. Now, guys, I'm now going back to the memory and just see here, guys, I just have five gigabytes from eight use and I only have two to one gigabytes available, okay? And I'm just right now only relying on the RAM Plus. I honestly think Samsung doing the 128, 80 gigabytes for the Ultra was really a bad decision. Uh, and you're gonna see why later in the video. I'm opening YouTube right now. I just wanna see how the phone will behave again. More or less, it is stable. And I'm just trying to go and test everything that I can while I'm in the store and I have big queue lining up, but I will not give up soon, guys. I just do this for you, right? So opening the camera, Opening, closing, opening, closing. And you just, just see here, guys, phone here is starting to miss some of my gestures, right? At this point of time, I'm just trying to put more strain, open as many as applications as I can. We, by the way, already know from some of the other reviews on the YouTube that the 8 gigabyte version is not going to keep your apps. So once you open them, yeah, it's gonna refresh them, which means that it's gonna kill your apps. So again, I think this is just a poor decision. All right, 
Let's change the wallpaper right now. This is very stock functionality, guys, but also allowing us to test Android 12 theming. So I'm changing the wallpaper. I'm going now for a custom palette and I will have to apply everything from the beginning, okay? Wallpaper now applied, right? And I'm gonna open the camera back and forth again just to see, you know, what the experience will be and how I'm gonna feel about it. Boom, here I have it. A bit later, I would say. Now I'm gonna do all these tests again, right? Not using the stock color icon, but using this green palette icon from the material UI. Opening the camera, closing it again. I'm gonna do this a lot in this video to just try to see the stability of the user interface and just try to see how the S21 Ultra using the Exynos 2200 just copes with lags. And I'll expect guys to hear from you in the comments below. What do you think? I mean, would you really buy this phone when at launch it behaves like this? Do you think this is acceptable? Also bear in mind, this phone is connected to the charger which probably impacts kind of the experience and it also runs into the demo mode, which actually doesn't do anything but when you leave the phone, it will just restart. It will remove your gestures and etc. It's pretty much like the real thing. Let's now go and change another color palette. I want to see how quick the phone is going to apply this. And you can just see here again, we have some UI lock. All the applications are there for sure. I'm trying to open the camera again, switching through the lenses. What you're going to see right now, I'm going to go repeatedly from the back camera to the front camera. And honestly, I think it behaves quite well. By the way, I also tested this new zoom. So the zoom is actually only 100x as we had it into the old Ultra, but the AI work is just brilliant. And I can tell you, you can just really see a lot of improvement there. Yeah, it's probably still gimmick, but it is a very nice gimmick, I would say. And as you can see, you see, it's doing really a better job compared to what we had into the S21 Ultra. Right now, guys, I was just doing this test. I had really some annoying people behind my back. What I decided to do, I decided to go back into the memory, click on the RAM Plus, and just up the RAM from 4 to 8 gigabytes. And that's, again, a very exclusive feature now, only to One UI 41. And this was a good indication, by the way, that the phone wanted to restart itself. So I'm really hoping that Samsung are going to change their RAM management. And that even this phone only with eight gigabytes will just perform okay. I, by the way, now restarted the phone and I'm not speeding up the results, guys. I just wanted you and myself, of course, to experience how long it will take for the new Galaxy S22 Ultra to restart. And what you see, by the way, on the screen is just real time. Again, there is no manipulation, guys. Of course, I had to cut and edit the video, but this is really what it takes, like how long it takes for the S22 Ultra to restart itself. Okay, now we are there. All right, so I'm just verifying if everything is correctly. I'm going to go again once more into the memory management menu and just see if really I was able to apply this change. See here, guys, I have now 1 gigabytes available. I will now clean everything and I'm going to redo all my tests just to try to test the animation stability, the animation fluidity, and of course, the luck into the interface. Now, see, I have 8 gigabytes of RAM Plus and I have... 8 gigabytes in the phone itself, accounting up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. So 8 real and 8 virtual. I'm starting to open the camera again. I'm going to now go through all the lenses. This is very important for me. And this is not so fluid, by the way, going, you know, from the ultra wide to the wide to the main sensor to the 3X and 10X. It's still not so fluid, right? And even I think on like the proper S22 Ultras that have like 12 gigabytes of hardware RAM, still not so fluid. But honestly, when I change and then when I apply the 8 gigabytes of virtual RAM, it become a bit better okay now by the way for this test here on purpose i just left the buttons because everybody knows that you know the navigation gestures kind of you know make the user interface a bit laggy so now guys this here is really the phone maxed out it has 8 gigabytes of ram 8 gigabytes of virtual ram altogether 16 it does also have all the navigation gestures disabled, so only button navigation. And this is, by the way, as good as it can get. Now, yeah, did it really become better compared to the previous test in the beginning of the video? I think yes. But is this really acceptable for a phone that costs, and you can just sit down below, 1,200 euro? Well, yeah, I think no. Sorry. And I really hope that Samsung are going to address this. And we know that they promised to push out a first update that hopefully is going to fix a lot of these things. Notification lag is there. Also, you know, me going from the home screen to the Google screen is also lagging. So the phone doesn't really perform like a flagship device. And again, I know it is charging right now and, you know, this takes a hit on the performance. I know that the phone is in the store and probably a lot of people are messing with it. But I just still think that they need to do a better job. Okay, so this is not really like a hate video. I'm really hyped up for the S22 Ultra and I'm probably going to get it in the very next days or months. But honestly, I wanted to see for myself how it behaves at launch. And what I have to say right now is my like two cents on the topic is I just hope for this phone to 
perform a little bit better because you know I just have the S21 Ultra and it does really work better right but uh, just have in mind guys we received more than 20 stable updates right and the S22 Ultra is in the beginning of its journey and it will only become better and better right this was my video guys I really hope you like this if that's the case don't forget to subscribe for my channel guys hit the also the like button and yeah see you in one of the next episodes we'll see you over and bye